All right, everyone. Um, this is my iMac G3, which I've upgraded with a 60 gigabyte solid state drive. Uh, it was originally a, a SATA 3 SSD, which I bought a adapter to uh, turn it into an IDE interface, therefore allowing the SATA 3 to connect up with this iMac. Um, other than that, um, this iMac's running at 600 megahertz. Uh, it's a summer 2001. Uh, also, it's maxed out RAM at, uh, at one gigabyte. Uh, so I had someone on Mac Rumors ask if I could post a video showing just general performance of this, so I thought I'd make this video. So uh, I don't have a stopwatch on me, but you can just check the, the uh, counter for the time of this video if you want to uh, time this startup time. So. Uh, as a side note, this uh, computer is running uh, Tiger 10411, obviously. No reason to run anything else. You might also notice that I, uh, I changed the boot screen to show the classic Apple symbol, which I've always been fond of. Uh, not really anything relevant necessarily to performance, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Also, you might notice that I've got the, uh, the original Apple keyboard and uh, the hockey puck mouse. Uh, Technically, these aren't supposed to be with the summer 2001 because they changed the Apple Pro keyboard and the Apple Pro mouse. What, uh, but I ended up not using them just because I've always been more fond of this old look, even though some people complain about the Apple Puck mouse being hard to use. I may feel that way too, but this isn't my primary computer, so I don't really care. Um, as you can see, that the computer's completely started up now. Um, uh, it's also got an airport card I installed in it. I'm uh, right now. I'll go ahead and fire up uh, 104 Fox, which is the G3 version for it here. I've also got 104 Fox synced up with my other Firefox browsers, so I've already got my uh, bookmarks and everything synced up. And there you go right there, that's Mac Rumors. Overall, it runs pretty well. Um, it's a little bit choppy scrolling here. Um, that's not the video that's choppy, that's actually the, the computer itself. But overall, it's a, a perfectly acceptable computer for uh, something, you know, like getting on forums and uh, light Facebook use, uh, things along those lines. Um, I've also been able to run 240p YouTube videos on here fairly well. Uh, generally using uh, using Mac tubes, which you can see right there. Um, also, uh, another note is, uh, some people don't know this, but you can actually run iWork 05 on G3 processors. It was the only one that was capable of doing that. Um, so I keep uh, iWork 05 and uh, Microsoft Office 2004 and then Microsoft Office 10 on here in case for some reason I needed them for some reason or another. Um, also, uh, I like to use Camino on here. Right here, I don't have... Normally, I would get the G3 optimized version of Camino, but uh, the download service or the, the hosting service for Camino's uh, optimized versions is, well, to be honest, it's a giant pain. So I ended up uh, waiting this time around and uh, just getting the, the standard Camino version and then uh, deleted all the old code utilizing... Uh, X slimmer but uh, overall I mean I would say that this computer's in pretty phenomenal shape for something that's this old um, I mean I've already given you the specs but you know I guess some people always like to go into a system profiler and look around and stuff I've also got a Bluetooth USB adapter put in here because I was using a mighty mouse with this computer before um, also, this computer has the, uh, it's the CD-ROM, uh, or excuse me, CD-RW drive. It's not a DVD-R, or uh, pardon me, the, it's not a DVD reading drive. So that's kind of been a pain a few times I've had. Anytime I want to install the OS, I have to do Firewire target disk mode, which luckily I have Tiger Discs and uh, computers readily available. Um, 
but that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't really done any other hardcore tweaks on this computer. Um, I've tried using ATI Accelerator to uh, speed up the, the GPU on it, but overall it was completely pointless just because this old GPU and these iMacs are uh, so ancient that overclocking them just a little is going to give you zero gains and you start getting artifacts really badly. But uh, anyway, if, uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to contact me on Mac Rumors. Uh, my username is Taylor Almond, all one word. Or you could always send me a message here on YouTube. So all the best.